Hello everybody, FilmFan108 here for my first official Blu-ray hunting video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Now, today a couple of titles came out, The Lost City of Z, The Fate of the Furious. I do know that today is starting their Criterion sale over at Barnes & Noble, so we'll definitely check that out as well. But let's get going and see what we can find. Alright, set out. And everybody, we are at Target for our first stop. Let's see what they got. Alright guys, over at the Blu-ray section and starting off we got the 4K release of Fate of the Furious. That is for $30. It includes the extended director's cut only on digital. Well, that sucks. It's got a lot of great special features, I'll tell you. I actually really did enjoy this movie. I saw it in the movie theaters with with Bob and we actually really enjoyed it yeah these movies are getting real goofy now and I'd rather they had stopped at part seven but if you're gonna continue it I guess why not you know gotta get more ridiculous with these things they got the blu-ray DVD and digital for $22.99 they got the DVD for $19.99 no real special stuff I think of course, Power Rangers came out a couple weeks ago. The 4K, 25, Blu-ray, 20, Power Rangers, 16.99 for the DVD. Of course, John Wick Chapter 2, which you guys know I got. Kick-ass movie, love it. Then the Zookeeper's Wife was last week, and that actually is down to 17.99 now. And I haven't seen this movie. If you guys have, give me a a uh, comment down below and let me know what you guys think. I haven't seen it before. Fist Fight, which I heard was terrible. Boko Experiment, which I haven't seen. That'll be a Netflix Nights video down the road. Should be good. Train Spotting 2 is really good as well. Haven't picked it up yet, but it's a really worthy sequel. And the other movie that came out today was The Lost City of Z, which again, I haven't seen but I heard it was actually pretty decent and they have it for twenty dollars and the special features here commentary a couple of featurettes not terrible again if this is good let me know I definitely want to watch it eventually down the road could be actually pretty good of course we're not going to talk about chips And then we also have Logan here as well. Still got some decent copies of Logan. Life, which haven't seen Life. That'll be another Netflix Nights video eventually as well. The Mummy, which... By the way, I only would care to get the first two Mummy films, not the whole damn thing. Fifty Shades Darker, which... Ugh. Man, that's shitty. Man, that's shitty. And the other thing they have here for you Spider-Man fans out there, they have this limited edition collection which has the first three Spider-Man movies. And... And I noticed on here that it has the Spider-Man 3 editor's cut. Now, I'm not going to pick this thing up because, well, to be honest with you, it doesn't really interest me. But if you guys have seen this and know of the editor's cut, is how different is it? Is it completely different? Is it only a couple scenes? What do you guys think? And they also have the Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 on a, on a two-movie collection, which, by the way, they can keep it because these movies... I'm sorry, guys. If you like it, that's fine. But these movies, to me, blow. They're bad. And then, over on the other hand, some more 4K. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm not the biggest fan right now of 4K. It honestly doesn't really interest me. 
I know it's a new format, but you know what? I went from VHS to DVD to now Blu-ray, and just to continue getting 4K and getting into a new format doesn't really interest me all that much, guys. It honestly doesn't. But I don't know. If you guys are into it, how better is the picture quality? Let me know. This is also another one I have to watch. Fantastic Beasts, which... I love the Harry Potter movies, but I gotta watch that. So, well, that's what they got today, guys. Hmm. So, guys, they didn't have a ton of a selection. But, honestly, could be better. Target's always not that great. You guys know that. Anyways, guys... Off to the next location. Well, guys, now on to our second location where we are at Walmart. Let's go in and see what they got. All right, guys, at Walmart. And the first thing I'm noticing is this huge friggin' eight movie collection set here. It's got the Blu ray and collection exclusive t shirt, it's a Blu ray and DVD here. Whoa, this thing's for 70 bucks, which, I don't know, they keep putting out all these collector sets. Honestly, I can't tell one apart from the other. I don't know. It's interesting, though, I'll tell you. They also got a regular eight movie collection here, and it's got all of them. It's just the DVD, it's not the Blu-ray. We've got that. And then they've got the limited a collector's edition 4K, which also comes with the digital. And only at Walmart, 30 minutes of exclusive bonus content and different packaging. Not bad, packaging's not, not, not too bad, honestly. And that's for $24.96. $19.96 is just the limited collector's edition Blu-ray and DVD course has the same cover as the 4k and then the regular blu-ray dvd digital 1996 and then the dvd itself 1796 all comes with the director's cut which is only on digital which is a shame then they have these little like smurf things 2996 and smurf lost village and then i don't know did smurf lost village come out i don't know i can't keep up with these movies in fact, I, I've never watched any of the Smurf movies. I think that might be like a Medal of Honor or something, because these movies suck. But, you know, if I had a kid, I might watch them, but otherwise not really. And they got the 4K of Power Rangers again two weeks ago. Haven't watched it. This is another Netflix Nights video eventually, but... Then they got this one with Underground Season 2. I haven't seen Underground. Then they got Underground Season 1 and 2. Maybe that came out. The Game of Thrones ones, which, sorry guys, I don't like the Game of Thrones. I know you probably guys are going to kill me, but I don't well like it. I only like the first season. Then they killed off my main favorite character, and then it all went downhill. They've got chips. Enough said. They've got London Heist, which I've not seen before. Did this get released? I don't know. Doesn't, no, the cover doesn't really intrigue me. And then they've got The Lost City of Z again, this time for $17.96. And again, it looks good. It's got Tom Holland in it, who was recently in Spider-Man Homecoming. And it's actually got Robert Pattinson in it. I think Robert Pattinson is a very underrated actor. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think, but he's, he's very underrated to me. Also, they got this movie called Norman. And it's got Richard Gere and Steve Buscemi, Hank Azaria, Michael Sheen, Dan Stevens. What is this about? 
the moderate rise and fall of a New York fixer. I don't know. It kind of looks interesting, guys. I haven't... I don't know. I don't know anything about this. If you have, comment down below. Let me know. Uh, that's for $14.96, which is not a bad price, to be honest with you. It's not too bad of prices. So that's the new releases that they got today. And I just noticed over here, you got the Spider-Man Homecoming. They've got all these different slip covers for all the Spider-Man movies. They've got Amazing Spider-Man, got a cover with the lizard on it. Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2 with Electro and Spidey on it. The first Spider-Man, second, third one. I just see a little bit clearer here. Got those here, not bad. I got these. Boy, they got a whole bunch of Spider-Mans here, guys. So if you are definitely looking for more Spider-Man Blu-rays and DVDs, well, Walmart's the place to go, I'm telling you. And also the whole 1996 section. DVDs, we got Independence Day Resurgence. Which was really friggin' terrible, guys. We got Bloodfather. X-Men Apocalypse, which I actually have not picked up yet because I want it to go down to a regular price. I don't want to get the DVD. I actually just want to get the Blu-ray. But if the Blu-ray can go down to about $9.99, I'd, I'd be getting it, guys. I have a whole bunch of other stuff. Not really anything great titles, just, you know, average titles they got over here. And then for the $12.96, they've got some of the Inferno and Hidden Figures, which I haven't seen yet. Wish I heard a lot of good things about it. It could be good. The Accountant, which is on my Netflix queue eventually, which will have a Netflix Nights video. Jason Bourne, which is going to have a Netflix Nights video eventually as well. Yeah, and that's all the stuff they got over at Walmart. So Walmart had actually a little better of a selection than Target did. But they tend to have a better selection anyways. So now on to our next location. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. All right, everybody, now we are at our last, well, actually, I'm sorry, not last, almost last, and that is Best Buy. Let's go into the Beast and see what we can find. Okay, guys, so just as quick as I went in there, I am now out. I was not allowed to film in Best Buy. Swear to God, honestly, I was not allowed to film in there. I asked him, I said, do you guys mind if I film in there? You know, just the uh, new releases, you know, some of the Blu-rays for YouTube, and they said, no, you absolutely cannot. You are absolutely barred from filming at Best Buy. So, I don't know. It was just one of a few Best Buys in the area. Uh, but yeah, it was really weird. So, um, yeah, no Best Buy. So that really sucks. So I wanted to let you guys know we couldn't film in Best Buy. So if you guys have ever had a problem with that, then let me know. This is the first. I've seen a ton of people film at Best Buy, but this is the first time that they've actually said absolutely not. So, comment down below about that. But, uh, I guess we're going to our last location. Alright. Alright, guys. We are at the next and last location of the day. And we are at Barnes and & Nobles. And maybe luck will be a little bit better on our side, huh? Better than Best Buy. Okay? See you in there. All right, guys, I am at Barnes & Noble, and let's see what they get. So here I am, the Criterion Collection at Barnes & Noble, and they have just started their 50% off Criterions. Started today, July 11th. I believe it goes through the entire month, I'm gonna say. 
I don't know exactly, but some of the really good stuff that they have, which I really like a lot, some good stuff here. And you know what, right off the bat, you see these little things here? Look how it ruins the, the packaging. Man, it ruins and messes the packaging up so badly. God, that is ruined, man. Especially on Criterion, that is terrible. But some of the Criterions that I really like, I'm trying to really look at some of the ones here that I really enjoy. Because there's a ton of them, man. Criterion are like some of the best ones. And I usually try to get stuff when the sale is going on because the sale is so good that you just kind of kind of got to wait until it. Brazil. I got Brazil on on Criterion. Brazil is so awesome. Brazil is the one that I really love a lot. I want to see what else, else it is. It's just so good stuff, I'm telling you. I got that. There. Oh, they got The Ice Storm with Ang Lee. Love Ang Lee. Especially this movie. It's a great movie. The Ice Storm is... Of course, we got so much more titles. Everything. I'm curious as to what you guys think is your favorite Criterion titles. Comment down below and let me know because if you're into Criterion, come here, man, because it, it happens about two times a year. So it doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, you gotta, you gotta really really end up going for the sale because the sale is so good and then they got so much good stuff here they got in the Vista Club some of the Beatles Criterion Hard Day's Night so many wonderful stuff Charlie Chaplin with the great dictator that's an awesome one, too. Oh, so many good stuff. Oh, so many wonderful titles here. That is really, actually, really good. Oh, Videodrome. I own Videodrome on Criterion. They did release one Arrow edition of Videodrome, but you know what? I'm going to stick with Arrow because Arrow does its... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to stick with Criterion because Criterion, I think, does it just a little bit better. Of course, Tootsie. I own Tootsie on Criterion. It's a great, great Dustin Hoffman movie. I own that as well. Oh, man, so many good ones. So many wonderful ones here. So if you guys are in in the actual, like, area of a Barnes & Noble and want to pick up some good stuff, definitely check out Barnes & Noble here, guys. They're fantastic when it comes to all this one wonderful stuff for Criterion. They got a lot in stock, honestly. And just so you guys also know, is that a lot of these are like titles that you may not be like instantly like, oh, this interests me. But you know, it gives stuff a chance because I really wasn't given a lot of stuff chances for a long while and then I was kind of you know getting more into stuff and I was really kind of you know started to really sort of get into a lot of interesting titles and Criterion is the way to go if you're a fan of just kind of art house stuff and stuff that you know only gets love from like you know like critics who basically are on the fringes then criterion is your deal man honestly but there's something that i'm gonna pick up right now so i'm gonna end this video and you know what they also have a rotten tomato section of movies that have actually gotten good rotten tomato scores and I don't actually know what you guys think of Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know. Because I gotta tell you guys, 
Rotten Tomatoes is okay. It's a good indicator. I don't want to kind of crap on it too much because I know a lot of people do crap on these these Rotten Tomato scores because, you know, they're not an indicator on how good the movie is, but they're not terrible e e e either. They're not bad, honestly. They're just, you know, a little odd, but there's family favorites as well, so... Yeah, they got a decent selection of stuff, guys. They do. So let's head out of here. Okay, guys, so I picked up one thing at Barnes & Noble's. I won't tell you what it is. You will have to watch the Blu-ray pickups video at the beginning of next month to know what it is. So it's going to be a while, but it definitely is a Criterion title. And I want to give a shout-out to the guy behind the movie desk, um, at Barnes & Noble here because I asked him if we were allowed to film and he said well you're not technically allowed to film but you know what I love film I love movies you know what go ahead man you're absolutely cool go ahead and that guy was awesome he was great and I want to give him big props for letting me film in Barnes & Noble unfortunately these people are shying away from people filming at these stores and I don't understand why wouldn't you want the promotion wouldn't you want people to know that you know you're having a sale what the prices are you know to go and get the the best release they can wouldn't they want to it's kind of a shame that places are kind of cutting down on that I mean I was surprised about Best Buy to be honest with you I was really surprised but yeah so I just want to thank that guy. He was completely awesome. I totally didn't get his name. I wish I did. And he was really cool. And so that's it for the video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. This is my first really Blu-ray hunting video. Again, sorry about Best Buy, but you know what? They were being complete tools, unfortunately. But if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you... Want to comment on anything you saw in the video, what stuff you picked up this week, whether it was new, older titles, whatever, comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this or enjoy the content that I already have, hit that subscribe button and you are going to get more of it, guys. All right. I will see you next time. See you later, guys. Bye.